The Twitter attack, as cowards do, on Millie after the video uh, circulated where he looked like a little douchebag that got uh, schooled. Yeah. Um, he wrote, uh, with generals like this, no matter, we, no matter, uh, no wonder we've uh, fought consistently more wars than we've won. Oh, good one, Maddie. Yeah. He's only fought minor skirmishes. Get it? Because he's minors. He hasn't served. One of the people on Twitter said the closest you'll ever get to a Green Beret, Matt, is this. And it was a Girl Scout wearing her little green hat. Yeah. What if, ugh, they're all the same. Yeah. These little ugh, douchebags. All right. Ivanka and, and Donnie have, have uh, broken up, and it is very, very sad. No jokes. <laughs> have they really broken up, or is it because subpoenas are going to start to fly in New York? Is that what's happening, or indictments? I don't One or the other. Jared's finally come between them. I... This is very sad. I want no uh, joking about this. Where's oh? There it is. Oh, I have it. I'm There's sorry, a whole sorry. stack. There's actually, a whole... you know what it is. I need a tinier violin. This is not sad enough for. Oh my God! They're all such self-promoting, <laughs> self-interested douche nozzles. Like I'm sure I. Oh, okay. There were like three stories about this yesterday. Yes. Ivanka and Jared are trying to uh, extricate themselves from the vicinity of the former president. They are estranged, according to reports. As the president continues to spout conspiracy theories about the 2020 election and will not move on and will not start talking about that cake. Okay. That's a they, vodka right now. Yeah, it is family, Sean. You are correct. Even your mistakes are correct. Um, they do not want to be around, nor do they want to be in the orbit of this uh, continued not being able to move on, not being able to let go. And they've made a very calculated and thoughtful decision to back away and not spend as much time with the former president grumpy and lonely now story two his, his trump feels go to his birthday party trump feels used by jared neither did melania <laughs> could he be a sad with the pathetic little boy he has like sicko pants now people sucking up to him mar-a-lago <laughs> at the buffet the buffet they probably still have a buffet right because whatever oh. covid okay jim acosta says uh trump feels used by jared <laughs> following reports he and ivanka have distanced themselves as he continues to attack the legitimacy of the 2020 election. It sounds like Jared and Ivanka are trying to treat Trump as the coffee boy. I never thought I would see that day, said Acosta. He said there's no separation um, that can be put in place. Trump and Jared and Ivanka that is going to wash the blood of January 6th off their designer suits. And I think every uh, Jared and Ivanka can try this, but I don't think they're fooling anybody. Think I think a lot of people out there see their failures tied very tightly to the failures of Donald Trump. Yeah. We see you, Jared and Ivanka. Oh. oh my God! This is isn't this the good part where they're all gonna start turning on each other when the indictments start flying? Oh, but there's more, right? Oh, really? Jamie's excited. Um, don't you think this is what's gonna happen? Remember, didn't Michael Cohen said this? They will all throw each other under the bus. Oh, yeah. He will throw his children under the bus. Trump spending his days. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess you need the violence. It's not done yet. Trump spending his days at Mar-a-Lago serving Diet Coke to reporters to get ahead of the wave of damaging books. Oh, my God. He's so pathetic. Oh, my God. Okay. Wow. That is just a sad. I, we knew that was going to be a bad breakup, him and Ivanka. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know what to say about that. Okay. Hi, Jamie. I know it's very exciting. Okay, I just I Glenn Kirshner talked us down a little bit, right? Uh -huh. This Ellie, is this Ellie is Mistall a good. Will be with us tomorrow. He'll mm. talk you down again. Ellie Mistall. Okay, good. I will need that before <laughs> vacation. Um, this one we talked about. Oathkeeper at the epicenter of MAGA riot ca uh, case has been offered witness protection. Yeah. Sean's looking for his too. Sometimes it's even more it's exciting dually. than one. Okay. A member of the Oath Keepers Militia has reportedly been offered witness protection in exchange for his cooperation with the, in, uh, the federal investigation. I think that could be uh, big. That could yes. be key. Oh, look, I wrote something down yesterday. You know, that's when it's super important, when it's not a Twitter. Can you read it? This is my chicken scratch. Uh oh. Yes, you know why? Because. Thank you, Sean. 
I was when we were talking yesterday about what is Roger Stone up to, right? Yeah. When he, because you're like when he's looks like he's trying to blame the Secret Service for January six. But okay, so Bob Seska, the essential Bob Seska show yeah. on the Sexy Liberal, I guess network. Yes. Um, brought up that a, he played Alex Jones' video. I'm saying the same thing. The Secret Service called me and said they wanted me to lead the march, and the president was going to join us. And remember, coward that Trump is. Remember, he said that. You yeah. go ahead, I'll join you there, coward. Mm-hmm. But he didn't go. But that was the plan. And so, but anyway, doesn't all this implicate Trump more? Yeah. Who is ordering the presidential Secret Service to do stuff? The president. Yeah. Like, okay. So that I was like, what is he up to? Because he was trying to extricate himself, right? Saying I wasn't involved in January yeah. 6th. Like, oh, the Secret Service called me and wanted me to bring me to the front, but I said I declined. I mean, we'll find. I mean, he's the biggest liar in the world. So who knows? But maybe he was too smart. Maybe yeah. he was too smart. I mean, he knew what was what was going down and knew not to be there, right? I mean, I mean, I, Charles Manson wasn't there at the right. I mean, that's why Trump is like, uh, you go ahead. We're going to the Capitol. I don't know why that sticks in my head, how annoying it was the way he said Capitol. Stephanie, Roger Stone said yesterday unequivocally that he had absolutely positively nothing to well, do. Well, that must be anything. true. Then. That must be true then, Travis. But this is what I wrote down. Doesn't that implicate Trump more? Yeah. Because it, it, we've heard that, that there's this very Trumpy contingent in the Secret Service, mm-hmm. which I hope have been ictionated out of the Secret Service. Right. Yeah. But. But that means, you know, right. But Alex Jones, there is actual audio of him saying, the Secret Service brought me out of that. They're both the trip out lead the Capitol March. Sorry. Everybody's voice is annoying that's involved in this. It sounded like you were just scattered. You know what it was, Sean? Like, remember, like, Gilbert Gottfried sounds normal when you talk to him, and then yes. when he's on the show, when you turn the mics on? Mm-hmm. That was what that was like. Yeah. So we're going to go down to the Capitol. That was, that's why it was annoying to me. Do that to my ear. Not, I love Gilbert. I didn't mean to drag you into this, Gilbert. You're hilarious. Donald Trump's just annoying. Okay. Um, speaking of annoying, wow. Uh, Millennial Politics tweets, Ron DeSantis wants to make it illegal to ask whether you're vaccinated, but believes it should be legal to force you to tell the government who you voted for in previous elections. Yeah, that's that's not at all creepy, what Ron DeSantis is doing and for asking for your political views that, that in college. Like they do before they round you up. Right. That's like... Okay. Yeah. That's like that's North scary. Korea stuff, right? Yeah. North no, Korea terrifying. scary. Like, let, let, let's try to make colleges make more conservatives because they're making too many liberals and we're losing the demographic battle, yeah. right? No, that's that that story yesterday. Morning. This is what they're trying to kill off all the old people with not getting them vaccinated in red states and then, I don't know, I guess indoctrinate the young people. That's their new plan. Well, now the young people are getting sick from it. The Delta variant. Yeah. Oh, can, we, can I just... Hang on, let me get my oh, COVID stack now that you've brought it up. Yeah. Now that you've, Save well, it for Dr. Redliner. Well, we are going to talk to Dr. Redliner about this, but this really, and I know somebody tweeted, they said, you know, well, I guess the, you know, they're, they're just going to kill each other off. What a plan. But it's just, it's not going to affect just them. No. It's going to affect, and that's why this is just, okay. This is exactly what Dr. Fauci warns these people are spreading COVID. Spoiler alert, unvaccinated young people yeah. are spreading COVID. Because as we keep saying, yes, our vaccines are good, but they're not, you know, the 95 percent that that they are against the other variant. This is the concern. So, um, yeah, he said, uh, obviously, it's under vaccinated people, he said. And uh, in regions of the country, particularly among the young, particularly among individuals 18 to 26, although any age of unvaccinated person is someone we need to get vaccinated as we concentrate on the younger. But, you know, uh, there was a study in London because this is happening this is happening. We, we have these case studies now. We can look at other Britain, countries. Israel, yes. right? India. We, we see case, It's just so insane and, to me. And now a warning? So there was, yes, now a warning. Thank you. Oh. Now a warning? Thank you. Um, there was a study done in London um, look, that found youth were driving the UK surge with a five-fold highest positivity among children, 5 to 12, and young adults, 16 to 24, um, versus people over 65. We seem to be following the pattern with the Delta variant with the doubling. It doubles every two weeks. So it's, right, we said this yesterday. The old COVID was 50% more transmissible than the strain we probably all got. That, this is 60% more transmissible than that. Yeah. And, yeah, and this is what's happening. See, this is, okay, this is why I came, I brought the, t- I, I printed the Israel story again. Do you know they're the most vaccinated country in the world? They're having a surge. You know what? Because of kids. Yeah. So we better do something about this before the fall. Yeah. Right? Or we're going to do the same thing. Um, Israel says it's facing a new COVID outbreak fueled by the Delta variant, despite having the world's most uh, vaccinated population. 
So 70% of the new infections there, the Delta variant, mm-hmm. right? Israel has the world's highest share of the population fully vaccinated, but its vaccination success means virtually all COVID-related restrictions had been removed. And then what happens is, I think it was nine vaccinated teachers got it because it was kids coming in with the with the, the Delta variant. Yeah. So, okay. All right, I, I'll save the rest of my... And vaccines keep COVID, you safe. My COVID so you, stack for Dr. Red Letter, but, but what? And the vaccines keep you safe, safer and you don't, it, you're don't. you less likely to end up hospitalized like we learned with the Miami story yesterday. Right. I mean, they are going to kill off a lot of each other in yeah. the red states, but it, it is going to spread. Obviously, that's how viruses work, particularly highly, highly, highly transmissible viruses now. You know, I, I mean, it's just, it's so ridiculous that we just have all this data. No, and they, they, and we, they, yeah. they wait until the census is over to kill everyone off. Yeah. I guess so. Okay. But I mean, stuff like that, that DeSantis is doing, it's just absurd mm-hmm. to not, you know, they make no sense, right? They're, t- they're talking no. about indoctrinating kids in college and they want to indoctrinate them, but in conservative beliefs, right? And yeah. then it, it's like, you can't mess with private businesses, except we can dictate to you that you can't be sure your employees and your, your uh, customers are safe. You cannot ask if they're vaccinated. It's insane. They're fighting for their survival. So they've thrown all their beliefs out the window. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, so I'm, you know, just as bitchy as usual. That's let's just start there. But we have, listen, I have help. Carl Frisch. I have Dr. Red Leonard at Malcolm Nance today. Yes. But, because he couldn't do yesterday. And Dana Goldberg. I mean, do we even need to do a commercial for the step store? I mean, the shirts are flying off the right. Look at this. Look at it. Look at that. Get your face up. Look, look. We have, and we have them for Team Pfizer, Team J&J. We are all Team Vaccine here. We have amazing. Right. And you can get it on everything, right, Chris? Not just shirts. Bath mats, shower curtains. You can get it on art, a clock. You can get Duvet. a sexy bomb on a clock. We have Stephanie Miller swag. We have sexy liberal swag. And, of course, all the, the vaccine shirts. Get it now. StephanieMiller.com. Wee!